Hello, researchers. Literature review is a crucial part of our research. If you have done a proper literature review, you need not worry about the quality of your research paper or even research thesis. But there are uh, various methods of conducting literature review. In this video, I'm going to describe the various methods uh, widely employed by researchers uh, in conducting a literature review. Let's get into the detail. And the more, the very important traditional approach of literature review is called narrative review. Here, narrative review means uh, uh, they will summarize the research papers or uh, thesis and interpret the studies within the broader topic without strict criteria. Often they use a thematic or chronological order. In the, the major strength of this particular narrative review, it's flexible, provides broad overview. It will set the research context, identify the key concept also. This is type one. Type two, it is called integrative review. When a research combines both qualitative and quantitative approach, this integrative review, it synthesizes both qualitative and quantitative research to provide a comprehensive understanding of a topic. And it is generally done when the research is using mixed method studies. And uh, this will be very useful uh, to combine both type of approach and uh, come to a conclusion. And next uh, review, third uh, type of review, it is called thematic review. The thematic literature review focuses on identifying, analyzing, and reporting themes within the literature. Organizing findings by themes or pattern. And it will go with a theme by theme. There are multiple themes dealt in a particular research. So the review will go from A, B, C, in that order it will go. And it will be useful to analyze the uh, trends, the latest trends, the what, what kind of trends it's going on, which theme is getting the gaining confidence, and all those things will be useful. And next comes uh, critical literature review. It provides a detailed critique analyzing the strength, weakness, and limitations of the particular studies in this study. So it will do a critical analysis. When, when they take this particular thing, they'll do a detailed analysis. This will emphasize the gaps and bases, biases, and offer offers a depth analysis through this review. That's why it is called critical literature review and next uh, very important uh, latest development there are two important things one is uh, meta analysis the meta analysis literature review uses statistical techniques to combine quantitative data from multiple studies assessing overall effect size and trends it's a meta analysis generally deals with the what you call a statistical technique and, an, and analyzes the, the, the data and finally it gives the size and types. And it offers a statistical precision. The meta analysis is very essential to get a statistical precision or identify the statistical gap so that you can go ahead with a new uh, statistical tool. The last and most important one recently, not recently, many scientific studies they use this. It is called systematic literature review. It follows a structured, predefined approach to locate, evaluate, and synthesize all relevant studies on a specific research question. It is highly reliable, it is comprehensive, and it has a very strict inclusion and exclusion criteria. And it is widely used in the science and other important field. Even if it, nowadays everybody is trying to use, uh, they are uh, started using systematic literature. So I hope all these type will really help you and you decide which type you are going to follow. And if you do have any doubt, go back and rewind the video and see that particular section. And I will catch you in the next video. And next video, I'll be talking about systematic literature review in detail. I'll catch you till then. Bye.